what's up guys good morning it is monday and i am not going to class today because i have to go get my retainers um last time i went back home they did the mold for my retainers but now i have to actually go get them so yeah have to miss three classes today and i'm not in winsville like i was last time and the last time before that uh we're still in columbia and then also Bay is leaving me so y'all pray for me like I think I have separation anxiety or something because every time he leave me I'll be upset like he didn't just spend a whole week with me and that's ridiculous thank you but yeah like I said we're gonna do that and then I will talk to y'all um when I get to say oh another thing I gotta go get my eyebrows done I'll make sure to go see my brow man because of course I gotta get that taken care of um for the trip for my spring break trip can't have my eyebrows looking like they're looking right now hotmess.com can't be having that I'm gonna take advantage of that when I go back home see my brow man I gotta get my um like I said my retainers to possibly close this gap back up the bottom teeth are doing fine cuz I've had this that uh permanent bottom retainer for about seven years now so obviously my bottom teeth are good it's just the top teeth that have changed <sighs> so yeah like i said i will talk to you all when i get to st louis what's up guys good evening it is thursday i know the last time i vlogged was monday i believe i just haven't felt like i just haven't been feeling like vlogging also because of my retainers having me in for two weeks straight not just at night time i sound really dumb with my retainers in both top and bottom i got my um permanent one for the bottom taken out and i think i already said this uh, my orthodontist took the plaque that was off my teeth he took it off my teeth and I had my whole fiasco about I thought my tooth was chipped. It was just plaque that had been built up um, for entirely too long. Like literally years of plaque built up back there and I didn't know that was plaque. But being back there so long it got hard so it made it feel like it was my tooth when it came out but it wasn't my tooth. Anyway like I said I got both. Um, bottom retainer a uh, bottom retainer to replace the permanent one that i can remove whenever i feel like it and then i also got a top one to kind of close the gap um that is in my top two teeth they kind of space obviously space back out over the years so i really feel like even though it's been two three three days three or four days i honestly like already see that gap closing back up so i'm so happy about that um but like i said i didn't want to get on here vlogging with my retainers in my mouth and i have to keep them in 24 7 for two weeks straight and then i can go to my um routine um just my other routine i can't remember if the bottom one well obviously the bottom one stays in permanently because it replaces my um permanent retainer but i think the top one is um for nighttime only so i know that's a lot but yeah just have to follow that yesterday we had the biggest not yesterday the day before yesterday when i say the biggest tornado warning situation like last time it was bad but the sirens didn't go off this time the sirens went off i was like oh hell no i gotta pack my stuff i gotta pack a bag i gotta pack something and so i packed my bag like i did last time when i freaked out my deodorant my lotion a whole new set of clothes a towel um, tissue deodorant everything I just packed it all again because it'll be that one time where you don't take it seriously your ass get blown away so I was not having that other than that we are done with our boots finally um, can't express how happy I am to be doing my boot I will insert a clip right here um, from my snapchat which by the way if you aren't following me follow me on snapchat 
um, of our boots. They look so realistic, right? Like they, from far away, they look like actual boots. I'm so proud of everyone in the class um, for getting that done because that was a struggle bus, okay? So now we're working on our, um, our play on words um, or our duality. I don't know if I've said this, I'm doing cutie pie. So I'm doing the letter Q, um, a teacup and a saucer with a saucer underneath on an actual pie. So the pie is 15 inches in like diameter, like around. So it's pretty huge. And of course we're gonna be keeping this. So that's gonna be a big ass pie just sitting on my dresser, <laughs> but very happy to be moved on from the boot. I also made a presentation, had a presentation to do on a ceramic artist um, and also an emerging artist. Funny thing is, um, I accidentally um, took this other girl's artist that she was gonna do a presentation on and I just so happened to be just business casual for my career fair. My manager's hospitality management. I don't know if I've said that on my channel. My manager's hospitality management, my emphasis area is conference and events with the minor and business management. But anyway, I was just up for the career fair. I did that. The funny thing is on the list in class, we have to write our artists that we choose but we don't have to put our emerging artists so that's completely in our heads like what artists emerging artists we're gonna do so when i pulled up my slide it said um what did it say it said adrian arleo and um katie mcdowell i believe those that's the emerging katie mcdowell and she said i literally was gonna do those exact two people and i'm like oh my bad as she was scheduled to go before me so i was like girl you can take them if you want to i'm so sorry i didn't mean to like steal the people that you're gonna do your presentation on but she was like no it's okay you're already dressed up and everything just go ahead and do it it only took me like 10 minutes just go ahead i promise i'm not mad i felt shitty as hell um but i still did the presentation um and what else is new in my life i don't know the career fair as usual i hate dressing business casual i put this on facebook the other day i said i would literally rather be shot in the big toe five times specifically five times than have to dress business casual because i just hate hate hate, hate with a passion dressing business casual um that went well it went okay because the career fair was supposed to be from one to four and people had already left by 320 i would say like 80 percent of the the people that were there hotels casinos um different businesses they left literally at like 320 and i'm like it's supposed to be till four o'clock but you know their ceos managers whatever of companies so they can do whatever they want to do but hey you can miss potentially the best employee that comes at 321 because you left at 320 and the, the whole career fair doesn't end until four o'clock i was like i can catch who i can catch who's here i did speak with three or four vendors that i saw some sort of potential in so i'm happy about that that i just stepped out there with my resume and my business cards networking that's always important especially as you um go along in college you may not take it that serious or see it as vital when you're a freshman but the further you get along you definitely want to make those connections early before you graduate so you can have um a definite spot of employment prior to walking across the stage because there is no better feeling i've been rambling a lot like i said i just want to talk to y'all because i cannot talk to y'all with those retainers in my mouth um probably gonna do a couple videos this weekend i was supposed to do one this morning but i had a phone interview which i was so happy about hopefully that goes somewhere i a firm believer in not speaking things into existence until it's already happened so I'm not gonna get too much into that <sighs> again I'm just rambling but I want to fill y'all in on everything that's been going on because I haven't put up a vlog in a little minute oh and I forgot to say that I finally have my plans in place um like 
three-fourths of the way um, for my spring break trip. I had my flight booked already like two months ago. Going to get the hotel tonight. Camille and I and my cousin Erica that y'all see in the vlogs. We are going to be going somewhere. Y'all will see when we get there. I'm just really excited. I also have to buy my shuttle ticket to take me from here to St. Louis in order to obviously get to the Lambert Airport in St. Louis. I'm so freaking excited. It's somewhere I've never been before. Maybe not the hottest spot for spring break necessarily, but I'm still excited. It's a new place to go and make connections and see new people and new cultures and things like that so i'm so geeked again i'm surprised i haven't said anything about it because normally i'm a person as soon as i find out something i open my mouth and then it don't happen but that's why i said i'm learning slowly but surely just to keep my mouth shut wait till it happens and uh it will happen i think because i've been rambling on here for about 10 minutes now I'm gonna end the vlog here. I know I did not do much again. I'm sorry, but I was just giving y'all an update what's been going on this past week just to get something up. Um, I promise the next vlog will be more interesting. Maybe even a video will be up before another vlog is up. So I will see y'all in the next one. Be sure to like this video, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all, like I said, in the next video. <laughs> Am I the only person that like when you first do your eyebrows you feel like they're hella shitty but then you'll look back on pictures that you took that day a couple days later and then you're like damn girl yes you did that. That's how I feel about my brows right now. I feel like the brow game is getting stronger by the day. It's getting stronger.